round of applause for her. That is the granddaughter of... Um, all right. We have um, another person that we are going to call to say something about him is a representative from Orukbo Agba. And is um, no other person than Mr. Koka. Mr. Koka, are you in our midst, sir? Mr. Koka... Mr. Koka, are you in our midst, sir? Miss, just on my way to, to Lokoja, when Mr. Lawa called me and said the man died. And uh, I couldn't co continue that journey. I had to turn back to Abuja because we lost him. Actually, I would have been much more happier if I've been called here to talk about how, uh, what can we do to bring Uncle back, I'll, I will have been happy if this is what I was invited to come and talk about. But unfortunately, we have lost him and uh, we, we are not happy about this. Because uncle to us should not have gone at this time for we still need him. We still need his wisdom, his uh, fatherly advice all the time. And uh, 
Uncle Yemi to me, we be missed so much among us as a very wise person among us. He was abundantly equipped with intuitive wisdom. He was on Witcher, but very dynamic. I tell you, tell Uncle to come to a place by 6 a.m. He will be there before 6. And that is one thing I've learned about him. Uh, Uncle was a, very, a father figure to us, to many of us in disability circle. He has a very big heart. He was kind. He was uh, hardworking. I, I could remember when we were drafting the constitution of the present day Paralympic Committee, Uncle came from Lagos to Abuja several times before we were able to complete the constitution Nigeria Paralympic Committee is still using up to today. And his uh, contribution was very enormous. Uh, if I may ask us here yeah, in this gathering today that which of Uncle's children do you think he loved most? I, I am sure many of us will say it is Efuyemi. But, <laughs> but it might not be very true. I am the one. <laughs> I am the one, I'm the beloved son. Uh, and if you doubt me, I will give you two examples. Out of many examples to support my claim. So before you say, uh, uh, let me give you this example of the type of love on Kuyemi as expressed towards me. Ah. Uh, I could remember we were in uh, Australia together in the year 2000. Uh, before that, me and Uncle, we belong to different political opinion. Actually, most of the time, we find ourselves disagreeing on political issues. Most of the time, we will agree on what to do, but the method and the approach to achieve it, we will, we will differ. So we class ourselves as if we belong to different political group, quote and unquote. So when I had that problem, at least uh, around 1.30 a.m., Uncle knocked my hotel room. And he was uh, with Lawa, Mr. Lawa. He came in. I was surprised, you know. When you see your political opponent suddenly appearing in your room around 1.30, so he called me and said, Tubosun, what is the issue? So we sat down, we talked frankly, and uh, around 3.30, he also advised me on what to do. So he left around 3.30. <laughs> Many of my friends were saying, ah, what, what, what is he doing in your room? What is he doing in your room? So it was a very fatherly uh, thing he has done to me. And up to today, I have not forgotten that single incident. Another incident that happened was that uh, there was a time some group of people were, were pushed. They were, they were telling me to contest for a particular post. So I called uncle. Uncle, this is what they are saying. They say I should contest for the post. You know what Uncle said? Uncle said, don't go there. It was a set of don't go there. And it was true. So, uh, such a fatherly figure, I find it difficult to forget about him. So, whenever Uncle Yemi was coming to Abuja, most of the time, I was the one he used to call. That he's coming to Abuja, and I'll be waiting for him at the other side. I would take him to everywhere he wanted to go, 
before he will return back to Lagos. About Monday last week, he has a particular hotel. He stays in Abuja. So I just walked into the hotel and told the management of the hotel that this man, your, your, your customer, is dead. The whole hotel almost shut down because of the way he used to relay with them. So to many of us, especially people living with disabilities, Uncle Yemi departure was, uh, was like one song we used to sing when we were young. Like, be a local Tiatimuri, Toa di Jokan, To Fulo, Be Arenako, Tati Jorinipo, Toa di Jokan, To Rinlo, Be Gan Niku, Uncle Yemi Jesua. And uh, on a serious note, to those of us who still believe that Uncle should not have gone by now, I want to say, look around you and see the contribution of Onku in your personal life. Onku Yemi contributed to everything many of us are still enjoying up to today. And uh, management of the hotel that this man, your, your, your customer is dead. The whole hotel almost shut down because of the way he used to relay with them. So to many of us, especially people living with disabilities, Uncle Yemi's departure was, uh, was like one song we used to sing when we were young. Like, I was still a student at the University of Lagos. I just had one morning that there was... Um, a sports seminar for, for persons with disabilities at the University of Lagos main campus. I was at the College of Medicine. So I decided to go. When I got there, it was one of the two people with disabilities that I met there. And from that day, we struck a chord and we have always worked together. Now, a lot of you hear about sports for the disabled. Anthony, Chief Anthony Ademi Bamboche, I can confirm, was a pioneer. I remember when I got to Scan Center and I saw them playing table tennis. And table tennis has been my love, just that I, I didn't have the equipment to play. So I started playing with him and I started talking about how to take sports for the disabled to the next level. And he happened to be the chairman of Lagos State Chapter of Spinal Cord Injuries Association of Nigeria. And when we started, some of us in the association didn't quite appreciate the importance of sports for the disabled. And we couldn't get the cooperation we needed from the national body. Uncle Yemi called me and said, Cosmos, anything you want to do about sports for the persons with disabilities, do it within Lagos State Chapter, I will support you. And that was how we organized the first national table tennis championship. Because at, that, at this time, the federal government had abandoned sports for persons with disabilities. I made every effort to get them to reconstitute the board to no avail. And so when I went to England in 1989 for International Stokmandevil Wheelchair Games. I met the organizers and, and they told me, listen, if you depend on the government, sports for the disabled in Nigeria will die. Just go back and start organizing something on your own. So that was how I went to Yemi and he said, okay, let's organize the first national table tennis championship, which we did. And that actually prompted the federal government to reconstitute, to reconstitute the then uh, Nigeria Sports Association for the Disabled. And from there, I was made the first member. Eventually, we thought that they should make more disabled, bring more disabled people into the board. And eventually, more disabled people were brought into the board. And that's how sports for persons with disabilities grew. Uh, my friend and brother, um, 
Obi Aronobu has talked about his kindness, his love for others, and being a go-to person. He is somebody that when you are in difficulty, you run to him, he must surely do something to help you out. And so Yemi Bamboche will be greatly missed, not just by the family, the entire family of persons with disabilities in Nigeria will miss him. I'm sure also the uh, seat of traditional power in Lagos will also miss him because he was a chief. And uh, today, in fact, some of my colleagues in sports, persons with disabilities, have been calling me to say, what can we do in a special way to immortalize persons, uh, Chief Anthony Ademi Bamboche? COVID has affected a lot of things. And we, we, we would have done more. We would have done a lot. But I can assure you, by the grace of God, when things are normal, we will come up with something to immortalize him because he was a hero. He was a great man, and we greatly miss him. Uh, I would say that Chief Anthony Ademi Bamboche is most certainly resting in the bosom of our Lord. And we pray that God, and we know that God has accepted him into his kingdom. We wish him um, eternal rest. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. All right, thank you, sir. God bless you as well. Oh! 
Kola Wale Oven Koka, a good friend, a good brother, a good uncle to Chief Anthony Adeyemi Bangoshe JP. Uh, uncle, you normally call him Uncle Yem. Uh, uncle Yem is a loving person that loves younger ones. He does not relate much with his contemporaries, but with the youth, it goes a long way. In the, in the uh, uh, arena of sports, it's wonderful. In the area, everywhere. Um, uncle, uncle is a fantastic person, of which if you offend him, he will let you know, and at the same time, he welcomes you with his own both arms. Uncle Yemi, ah, we normally called him Uncle, Uncle, Uncle. That Uncle alone goes a long way. One, Uncle Yemi is a person that whatever he did or whatever he do in, in hidden, he will come to the public to talk or to discuss it with, with, with the younger ones that so, 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 and so take place. Of which it will bring us a good joy and laughter. Well, a year ago, we've missed him, but we thank God for his life. A life well spent. Over 43 years or, or, or 45 years on which year, when he got an accident but he never relented, he never discouraged himself. The disabled always surround him. He's a good sportsman. Before he got an accident, when he was on his feet, he's a captain of LC, uh, uh, Lagos City Council Football Club. Then, in the 70s, late 60s, 70s, he's a good defender. So, for the celebration of today, he worth it. He worth it. He worth it. May his souls and all the souls of all the faithful departed, may it rest in perfect peace. Amen. Uncle Yemi, I miss you. I miss you. Allah undelere for you. Allah undelere for you. You are just a joke. Koni baje. Eh, in terms of that, koni daru. Omo konte file la ino. Efun yemi adiru adigba eh Olorun oba a fun lemi suru lati le fi ko awon mu ya te bi ko fi ko won je pe arin won atoko e na ko ni daru awon mu e na wa diru wa digba fun eh ipada bo ipada lo ipada won si ilu oba la america na oko won ni fori so gi ko ni fori so pe eh e se go fun gogo omo egbe ti Ade yemi bangbo se dalẹ ninu eyo laba eyo lakete pupa 
Tan Queni Urukwagba Members Club. Over 20 over 21 years ago now. Not deck by no sile. He's still working working strong. Oh no the ni awata joke on be at if you lauri me. Oh yeah no look dali. Uh well my brothers, sisters, love friends. If I should say I, I should continue talking, I will talk to the break. May you so rest in perfect peace. Thank you. Hello. Hello. And good afternoon, everyone. Yes, I am here to say some few words about uh, Chief Antonio Adebi Bamboja, who we generally call Uncle Yemi. Uncle Yemi was a peaceful man. That's one thing we noticed from him. Very peaceful. He doesn't like anything that we bring as agreement. I also noticed that he was a man of integrity. He also somebody that whatever you believe in, he worked seriously to make sure that that is successful. In those days, at any stage of his final body to this association, he told me that uh, he doesn't stay halfway in anything. It's either he's is it something or is not there that uh, on the organization of Spider according to this uh, program that he must participate fully in everything and that is how we do it. He was never a very well left uh, anyhow. He participated fully with the with his own program in every aspect. He's, he was also a rally point in most of the time. We will be some of what has been happening to us as a result of the fact that so he was a senior person. It was through him we got to know how to live our life. Because there are a lot of things we need to make us to live well and live to some extent. He knows better. He will not have to always advise and guide us. It's something there for everyone of us. And also he, he was a very generous person. There's nothing he has you cannot give to someone. If somebody you must trust, if somebody when you, you go to the media, you are challenging yeah, yeah, yeah. to you must give you solution to it. So uh, I thank uh, I thank God for his life. He played important role. As a disabled person, he played a very important role. You see that disabled persons get their right. He always say that. Whenever, like in a gathering like this, you always make sure that the same person should be giving things, not, not just like uh, in, a, in a location like this. You may look at the same person, oh, what can you take? You may not drink beer. You say, no, give him baby the beer he wants. He's a human being. He wants to provide him, but just like any other person. So, he's very good, well thought to see that any person with disability gets his right. One thing I have to say about him is that. And also it's my prayer that peace will be with him anywhere he is. And anybody who loves him will always try to say a little prayer of love to him. So that wherever he is, he will be peace, there will be peace there. And that's actually on the end of his time, he did his life on the end, contributed women's to him. So where he is now, let there be peace with him. Thank you. All right. Please, a big round of applause for
of the tennis championship, which we did. And that actually prompted the federal government to reconstruct, to reconstruct the then uh, Nigeria Sports Association for the seven. And from there, I was met the first member. Eventually, we thought that they should make more the same, bring more the same to the board. And eventually, more the same program brought it to the board. And that's how sports for persons with disabilities grew. Uh, my friend and brother, um, who has talked about his kindness, his love for others, and being a good person. He is somebody that when you are in difficulty, you run to him, he will surely do something to help you out. And so, young people say, you can bring me this, not just by the family, the entire family of persons with disabilities in Nigeria will be seen. I'm sure also the